Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup and it's the final part of our Silent Coin Taproom Loot Studios 3D Print Giant Tavern Build and yeah it's been weeks working on this thing and finally I've got round to the final part and that's painting the fully assembled roof so let's just jump straight into this I am giving us a good undercoat with some really really dark leather colored brown I believe this one is called dryad bark and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this completely with dryad bark get in all the little bits and pieces and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush over it I'm going to use three or four different browns and a couple of greens just to bring out some lovely stuff this is a very old roof so it's got moss it's got holes in it it's got uh, bits which have been patched up with other materials other than the ones we originally started with so lots of color variation and lots of dry brushing and texture work on it and as you can see yeah this just stuff is going on really really nicely um yes i don't paint this fast this is sped up but you don't want to see me doing this for like eight or nine hours so i'm just gonna let you enjoy this and have some tunes while i do it And with that roof painted, we can get onto the final assembly. And yeah, I love this thing. It just looks so weathered and awesome. I mean, there's parts of us here which don't connect. And there's parts which I'm going to have to work on and fill in with putty and things like that. But at the moment, um, I'm very much liking this. I mean, I printed some of it in uh, PLA. And if you watch the videos now, I printed some of it in resin. And I printed some of it with washable PLA. And I printed some of it with non-washable PLA. Just to see what... Um, 
different materials have effect on this particular model. So yeah, there's some parts which uh, may not go together as well as I would if you just printed the whole lot in one particular medium. But yeah, let's see how this clips together. So, little uh, porch roof goes on there, just uh, sits nicely. And then you've got this kitchen roof here, and you see where the chimney has a little cut out. You can just slip that straight on, and that clips there as well. Then we move on to the upper floor, which I've just painted. And I'm going to wash that at some point as well to make it look dirtier, but at the moment this is fine to uh, put this together. I mean, it's very, very weighty, because I say I've made this completely out of resin, this particular floor, just to see what would happen. And yeah, if I moved the whole thing out of resin, it would weigh an absolute ton. So these stairs connect with the stairs here, so we carefully put this on. There's tabs where it all clips in, in to make sure it all stays in place. If you've watched the other videos, you'll see how those work. There we go, that all just sits in there nicely, it is nice and secure, it doesn't wobble. And here we go. Yep, the chimney all lines up, all the other sides line up, the walls line up. So finally, it's uh, time to put the roof on. Now you see there's two slits there either side, and those go over where the chimney was. This roof is made out of about eight different parts, all held together by uh, epoxy resin. So yeah, I, I bet not drop this thing because it will smash to pieces. And if you see my other videos, you'll see I did drop it at one point, and yes, it did smash to pieces, but it's all back together now. Let's just slip it over the chimneys, and it sits there beautifully, straight on top. And wow, that just adds so much to it. It's absolutely lovely. Just clips straight onto the top of this. And right, let's have a look round. Oh, look at that. That just looks absolutely brilliant. I can't wait to do my first D&D campaign with this thing. I mean, look at it. That's this thing's immense. This is the small inn as well. There's a full size inn, which is like eight floors and about 50 rooms. And yeah, I don't think I'll ever print that myself. But um, yeah, look, it just comes comes apart and goes back together so well. And you can use magnets on this if you want to to basically hold it together. But I think the weight of this is going to hold together fine. And besides, I want to be able to take it apart fairly easily. So the roof comes straight off, sits there. Kitchen roof straight off there. Off with the porch roof. And there's the first floor. And yeah, here it is fully disassembled. And ready for a decent uh, d d campaign to start with it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this extremely drawn out project. I am aware it's taken me weeks and weeks and weeks. When I thought it would take three or four, it's taken about eight. But I hope you agree it was really worth sticking with it. And yeah, I think um, version two of this, when I um, print it in just, in just PLA, is going to look absolutely fabulous. But yeah, for a, uh, a prototype project to test different materials and basically just to see how a big print like this turns out, I'm very, very happy with it. Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Stay happy and safe. Keep printing.